WBTV News, whenever you need it. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and download the WBTV News app on your smartphone. Good morning, 19 minutes before 9 o'clock, and today, guess what? We are talking matchmaking. If you're looking for love, you may be in luck, and I'm delighted to have with us today Julie Wadley. She is the matchmaker coach for the Carolinas. She's also the founder of Eli Simone, and that's a professional matchmaking coaching firm that's serving commitment-minded yet time-limited individuals here in the Carolinas. And Julie, good to have you with us Thank here this you. morning. Great. Tell us a little bit more about what you do. Yes, yeah, so I am a certified uh, matchmaker and coach, and like life and relationship coach here in uh, North Carolina. And what uh, the business is is to not only help people find love, mm -hmm. but to keep the love that they have. Oh, really? So, yeah. So it's you know kind of working on both ends. So it's one thing to find love but maintaining that love, yeah. what's, the, what's the biggest uh, thing people, the most important thing people need to know about maintaining a relationship? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is people don't have a problem finding someone who they're attracted to. Mm -hmm. It's about finding a person who's going to be a good partner for you. So um, what we do is help people f make sure that they are they, they understand their requirements, their relationship requirements. Mm -hmm. What are your non-negotiable uh, rules that will either make or break a relationship? And then you go to what you want in a relationship or what you need in a relationship, meaning you know you want someone who is affectionate, you want someone who's family oriented, you want someone you know who loves your mom. You know, things like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then you go to, you know, the cherry on the top. You know, they're 5'10", they're, you know, a certain physical feature. So you want to you wanna go from the top down instead of the bottom up. Mm -hmm. And there is a no one size fits all, right? Absolutely not. It's, it's everybody is different and all. And you always hear this thing that opposites attract. Is that true or is that false? Um, it depends on what the, what it is. So, you know, my husband, he is a bookworm. He loves being at home. I'm a social butterfly. So in that respect, we are kind of opposites, but it works because in our relationship, sometimes I like to be at home. I like to do the cuddling and I like to do the sort of the introvert thing. And sometimes he'll come with me to go out to a social event. So it just really depends on what it is. But if it's a, you know, non-negotiable requirement, meaning, you know, he is not honest, but you are, then that will definitely not work. Where, uh, we've only got less than 30 seconds here, where is the best place to find Mr. Wright or Ms. Wright? Go to a uh, place where everyone shares the same values. Your church, um, service organizations, things that, uh, or organizations that you share common uh, values. So that would be the, the best place to find someone. Wow. Or uh, you have a website, I'm sure. Yeah, I do. It's www.elisimone.com. And that's a great place to go to yes. if you are looking for love. Julie, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank I hope you'll you. come back and uh, maybe talk a little bit more about relationships. Absolutely. Because I know a lot of people need a lot of help out there. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Julie Thank Wadley. You. And